man, I know, man. <clears throat> it's it's easy to sit back and make excuses, but it it won't it won't make you better. Making excuses won't make the next fight any better. Wilder have a whole bunch of yes men in his camp. Why would I have a whole bunch of yes men in in, in his camp? There's they do not sit back and make him. They don't make him sit back and do the fundamentals. They don't correct him. They don't reprimand him, and they not hard on him. Wilder got a Wilder got a whole bunch of yes men in his in his in his corner. That's why he's able to go. That's why he's able to box ten and eleven years. Without learning anything but a, a right a right jab, he learned a lot of things. But the things he he only got one weapon. That's why he's able to box that long with just one weapon. Now that one weapon helped him out a lot, but he got cleaned up his last fight. Now people haven't tried people haven't tried to back him up. Because they were scared of his right hand. But as soon as he fought somebody that wasn't scared of his right hand. Now he been exposed. As more people would have marched forward. He would have more losses on his record. More than likely. But while they need to clean. Instead of, instead of people talking about excuses. People need to be talking about developing more skills in a couple of more months. He have he have March, April, May, June, July. He have about but he about four months to develop some more weapons. If he don't develop more weapons, he ha- he's going he's going the same thing is going to happen again, or even worse. I believe Fury was testing the water with him. As as soon as Fury found out the game plan worked, he jumped on him immediately. I think the third fight. It's going to be a pickup from this from the seventh round. He going to be all over him like a cheap ass suit. So he going to have to learn how to fight off the back foot. And his corner is a bunch of yes men, and you know his his corners is a bunch of yes men. They let Wilder Wilder don't do a lot of Wilder. I heard Wilder don't hit the heavy bag or Wilder don't hit the heavy bag or nothing. The most important thing. Is the heavy bag. If anything. The double end bag. And the heavy bag. Is the most important skills in boxing. It's way more important than the mitts. It's way more important than the mitts. Because you really don't. You're really not going to fight like that. But the heavy bag. You can imagine your person. Actually coming at you. And you can really focus. And then if you have a good trainer. He can sit up there. And tell and, and tell you how to how to tighten up how to tighten up your defense when you throw punches where exactly to do where exactly to be at where your head should be at and and where how how to turn how to turn how to turn your right foot over how to turn it like like how to turn your how to turn these punches over correctly how to develop um how to develop how to throw punches when people actually coming at you. And slipping and where your head should be at. You you can develop your fundamentals where you can do this shit in your sleep. And that's how most people learn. It's on that heavy bag and where they hit. Just get a trainer to, to go over it with you. The combinations and the weapons. And, and you'll become better. But that's what Wilder needs. He needs somebody to tell him what to do. He don't need to be telling his trainers what to do. That's why he lost. Because he's not developing skills. And, and he have a whole bunch of... Yes man in this corner That's why he lost It don't have anything to do with It don't have anything to do with Young Pharaoh And what um, Beauty Shop is talking about It's the It's, it's, it's the It's the It's the him It's him not It's him not having a corner That he's listening to You gotta You gotta humble yourself You gotta humble yourself And and You gotta humble yourself You can't You know Wilder start believing You can't you start, Wilder start believing His whole own hype that he was actually the baddest man on the planet. He started believing he was the baddest man on the planet. And everybody, he got a whole legion of dickheads, the LDBC, looking up to him, calling him the king, calling him champ. Hey, champ. Hey, king. Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes say something about him. 
Oh, he's a he's a coon. Mike Tyson said something about him. Oh, he's a coon. Oh, uh, Roy Jones offered him advice. Oh, he's a coon. Oh, um, um, Lennox Lewis offered him some advice. Oh, he's a coon. Everybody that offered, everybody that offered to give him the fundamentals of boxing, he's a coon. Andre Ward offered to give him the fundamentals of boxing. Oh, he's a coon. If you offer to help Deontay Wilder, you a coon. If you offer some criti some vice to criticize him, oh, use the coon. Oh, use the hater. Everybody that try to help Wilder is a coon. George Foreman tried to help. Oh, he's a coon. Mike Tyson, he's a coon. Floyd Mayweather, oh, he's a coon. Larry Holmes, he's a coon. Everybody tried to help him as a coon. But everybody saying yes to him. They, they, they good niggas. They cool people. That's zombie shit. That's zombie shit. And it's the real reason why he lost. Because he got a, he got a weak team. He needs some strong people that's going to develop skills. If y'all leave y'all comment, y'all hit that thumb, support the channel, man.